Hi guys, Squirrel here. I'm back with some spin tires. If you remember, if you can cast your mind back to the the, uh, the refuel video, I am here at the refuel point. I've got the logs and I've got the. I managed to get the fuel truck over here and refueled it all up. However, um, basically, I, I did manage to get the logging truck over here, th which is this bad boy here. And if we just zoom out slightly, the objective is just over here. So. I don't think I'm going to be able to uncloak on the way, so what I might have to do, because what you need to do with this one is come back towards the beach and then drive along the coast, get it over to the objective. What I then might do is try and get that thing on the way back when I've not got the load. Um, that should make it a lot easier, and then obviously I've got to make my way all the way down to the lumber mill again, which is all the way down here. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get that uncloaked. So ideally, what I'd want to do is drop here, uncloak that, drive down this way, uncloak that, get back to the lumber mill. Bear in mind, we could start having a fuel problem, uh, because obviously the fuel is over here. I don't think my logging truck is going to be able to make it uh, from the objective down to the lumber mill and back to the objective again. I just can't see that happening. So what I might do is, is take the fuel truck and position it somewhere halfway here. Which basically means that whenever I'm trafficking between the lumber mill and the objective, um, I can refuel halfway across. So at some point I will have to move, move this fuel truck into position somewhere down here, but I really need to get that uncloaked as well. Anyway, first things first, let's start the engine. Oh, that never gets boring, does it? That never gets boring. Actually, that's looking a little bit bright. Should we have a look at the brightness level on that? Oh, no, that's not so bad actually. Should just be able to see the tyre. That's fine. Um, resume. So, first thing first is I've got to basically let's put it into all wheel. Got to spin this around. This is no mean feat at all because you have to use this bit here to do a U turn. And doing a U turn in this thing is not easy. Because it is such a poor turning circle vehicle. You've got to get the trailer to start turning. And then when it goes, it just suddenly snaps round. It's still there it goes, there it goes. And then all of a sudden, boom, it just <laughs> it just jackknives incredibly quickly. Alright, let's uh, straighten her up. actually clipping the trailer onto the back of the fuel. Let's diff lock up. Go a bit further up and try and make the turn. You can see how much it really doesn't want to start turning. Come on. Come on, let's see if we can get higher and higher and higher and higher up here. Urgh. Oh my god, this thing is just turning circle of doom. This is the most awkward lo awkward fuel depot known to man. <laughs> it's just trying to get out of here is horrid. I'm sure it wasn't this di difficult last time I did it. Actually, the trailer's getting buried. Right, you know what? We're going to have to find a different way of doing this, because this is not behaving for me. Let's go over this side a bit. Then spin the wheels. Come on, turn, 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 turn. There we go. Once it starts turning, it's not so bad. Let's see if we can do it without diff lock. The problem with diff lock is it makes the turning circle even worse, and it's already bad. There we go, I think I should do it. Another thing I've found with this vehicle is if you tap the power when you're making a turn, rather than just holding it down and having the wheels slip, if you kind of just keep tapping the power, it will make a better turning circle. And really that comes down to a mini form of traction control. If you're tapping the power, you're allowing the wheels to regain some grip. 
and you get a better turning circle. If you just hold the power down, then the wheels start to spin and then it can't get traction to make the turn. I mean, it's effective what traction control does very quickly, like 100 times a second, but I can't press the PlayStation controller 100 times a second. But I don't need to, because if you press it like three or four times a second, you know, that's usually enough to get it a reasonable amount of grip. And you will see the difference when you're making that turn. Now, I don't want to go that way. I got stuck on a live stream doing that with the devs. That was bad. What I want to do is I want to go down here. And then there's a bit down here where I can make a U-turn, get back onto the beach. And then go along the beach to the objective. That works. Go diff lock again. That works. Right, here it is. So you've got this muddy bit here, and then if I start making a turn... Up now. Come on. Start turning. So just tapping the power again. Letting the wheels do their thing. Let's go around that side. There we go. Nice. That's it. Go on, lad. Beautiful. And I think we'll have to diff lock it again. Because this is horrendous, this bit. Now that dirty water there is reasonably shallow. But this vehicle can actually go completely submersed. And there is an achievement for doing so. But we don't want to get into that unless we have to. So let's just stick to the muddy bit. Keep the momentum going. I love the water effects in this game. Look at that. That is so good. Can you believe how well he captured that? That's like one guy, Pavel, the dev said. The Russian guy who's done almost all of the coding for this. Amazing work. Really, hats off to this guy. That is some... Stupendous physics. Actually, all these years I've been saying Pavel. <laughs> I bet Pavel Sabor hates the way I say Pavel. It's, it's got to be Pavel Sabor, surely. Just like Pavel, the programmer of spin tires. Don't know if you guys saw the live stream of the devs, but it was. Uh, it, it, you can watch it back. It's on the YouTube channel. Loads of questions got answered. It was great fun. Managed to complete the the volcano map. Hilarious. Got stuck a few times. But they answered most questions that were thrown on us. So that was really nice. All the ones they could anyway. They couldn't make promises and stuff. About what's going to be in next. But they did say that, you know, particularly things like the camera. You know, they're going to sort out different camera views and um, give us a first person view. Everybody was asking for a first person view and I, I've got to agree. If they could give us at least the amount of camera options that we have in Euro Truck, I'd be a very happy man. The ability to go first person is what we want in this game. I want to get in that cab and feel, feel the effects of bouncing around and driving through mud. And look at the way it moves, though. There's a good chance it'd make you feel quite queasy. <laughs> it'd probably have to come with a health warning. Warning may, call, may induce vomiting. <laughs> but it would be hilarious up front in the cab. At least just an overhead view would be useful. Because I think quite a few times I just need to see the front of the vehicle or you know where, where the nose is in relation to everything else. And this kind of over the shoulder view doesn't always give you that. So we just need some camera options. First person, you know, because if they're doing first person they're going to have to do all the dashboard with all the needles and the, dash, the dials on it because these things are old. They're going to have analog dials on them and they need to make sure those are working because I wouldn't accept screenshots you know what I mean still images of dials no 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 but I'm just picky like that right this is a sharp turn and I'm gonna jab the brake around here this can't turn quickly enough as you can see the turning circle is nowhere near good enough uh, if you're in multiplayer what you can do is you can get a winch point uh, you can get another vehicle here and attach a winch to it. I need about three hands to do this. And then pull on the winch, or get your friends to pull on the winch as you're driving forward, like that. And it'll improve your turning circle. But as you can see, you can do it on your own as well. Just grab hold of a tree. And you can make this thing turn around. Now I may have to just back up. 
This vehicle will go over all kinds of terrain and very, very deep in water, but if you ask it to turn around, it just laughs at you. And not a nice laugh. I mean one of those kind of maniacal clown laughs. It goes, <laughs> that kind of laugh. Although, not heard many clowns make that laugh, to be honest. I digress. Uh, okay, so it's down here. This is the way. I'm showing the map in a second. Let's straighten this up. Uh, you can see where we are. We're just on our way down this road now to the objective. And then we can make that delivery. Let's diff lock it up. Now, I'm not on hardcore. This game on hardcore would be much easier if you could play it with a friend. Because then if you do get stuck, he can pull you out. And also the refueling aspects of it. Because uh, you will burn more fuel on hardcore. Um, so you can do it solo. No, you know, it is completely achievable solo, but you might have to spend quite a few hours of frustration digging your way out and running out of fuel. So here it is, we're at the docks. This is the objective. It's quite a nice little drop off point, this. The logs and stuff. Let's get ourselves inside the, the parking brake and. Load four points, unload, boom! Objective now has four points, awesome. Now there is, in fact, whoa, whoa, camera freaks out, let me just pull it away from that log. Is the camera freaking out then? Doesn't like that. There is, I've seen people get the, wow, the camera keeps snapping up, let's go over here. I've seen people get the crane and pull that trailer thing onto the back to make it easier to carry, so I've never actually tried it. I can't get the camera to behave, but I might just have a go. Pick it up. I don't think it can actually pull the weight. It is flat out trying to lift it and it can't do it. It won't actually... Go on, go on. If we just get the ridge of the tyres over the top there, it would actually do it, I reckon. It's not, it's not doing it. It won't lift it up on the back. That's annoying, isn't it? Can we, um, can we possibly winch it? Is that a winch point there? Do you think it would actually hold it like that? What's that like to drive? Is that just the craziest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, that's an interesting way of doing it. I've just totally invented. Let's get over these rocks. I don't know how long that thing's going to stay there. But with the crane arm being up, it is a little bit top heavy. <laughs> that is not going to stay there, is it? I mean, it's winched up. And the cradle, the cradle, cradle? The crane is kind of holding it. But already we're on half fuel. Crikey. I think we're going to run out of fuel on this bad boy. It's 270 litres left. If that'll stay there, that's actually... Whoa, damage. That's actually a bit easier to handle. Come on, man. Round the corner you go. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the axles. Axles are getting burned by that. Oh, the other thing is I can't winch myself now, can I? Because I've basically used my winch point. I won't be able to pull myself around this corner. But because I've not got a trailer, I don't have to worry about the articulation, so... I bet that mud knocks my trailer off. Oh no, it's doing okay. I mean, you get a sense of scale from this, just from the ladder at the side of the cockpit. It gives you an idea of how big this vehicle is. So that means the wheels must be almost two meters high, I reckon. 
you know, as tall as a person, pretty much. Actually, we're just coming up to half fuel, so we're okay for fuel. What I do need to know is how to get to that clock point. Let's have a quick look at the map. Okay, it's... I think we've got to go right here. Let's make a turn. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. That was nicely done. I do have to be careful with this crane, though. It could it could be my demise. It's so high up, it's, it's raised my centre of gravity. Which means there's a risk of me tipping over when I go over a slope. Um, now then, if I go straight on here... That's where I would normally go back to the beach, but I'm going to go straight on. See if we can get over to this cloaking bit. How's that trying to do? Actually, it's holding up quite well. I thought it would have given me a lot more grief than that. Uh, so the clog point is over here to the left. That water, though, you can go across that. Oh, there it is. Fantastic, it's in vision. What's the easiest way? Oh, it's over the other side of the water, isn't it? I reckon. Damn. That could be a problem. Although, hang on, can I get over this way? Now, the water doesn't seem to cut in too much. It's actually just on the coast. There it is. My God, could they have put that in a harder position? Are you kidding me? Some pretty big boulders here. I'm a bit frightened of being beached, to be honest. not loving these boulders. I think I'm about to get stuck. <laughs> oh, God. Out, out, out. Back up, back up, back up. Trailer's not loving that. We've got a problem, Houston. We have a problem. Get a winch point onto it again. Can we get that crane arm grappler? Come on, grappler. Crane grab. best grip in the world. <laughs> Is it? But as long as it's enough to hold it while I get up this slope. Which is proven incredibly difficult. Really? How can this be so hard? Can this be so hard? Just power my way through it. And then try and make a turn. There we go. Oh god, the trailer's in a mess. <laughs> the trailer is in a mess. Mayday. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> We're going into the water. And the trailer is in a very, very precarious position. <laughs> um. Hmm. That's not an official way of towing this thing, but it does appear to be working slightly. We may end up losing that. If it's winched on, hopefully it'll just stay. <laughs> just stay there. Oh, good grief. Interestingly enough, if you look at the way that works, it's actually dragging it on two wheels. That is kind of funny. But yeah, that's not... You won't find that tip in the manufacturer's handbook. <laughs> that's for sure. Right, actually, we could either just detach this. We might just be able to restore the crane back. Because I think the winch is going to do it. Although we are taking a rock with us. I think that winch point might just hold it. Um, right. Okay, that's cool. 
Um, let's just see, there's the fueling point over there. What I need to do is come back along the beach and then head down. What I might do is bring the tr bring that thing back here. If you remember, this is where we turned onto the onto the beach. Park it, then bring the refueling truck back here and refuel this bad boy because this is not going to make it um, there and back. It's just not going to happen. I'm just looking for my right hand turn back towards the beach. I think it's down here. I think this is it here. So we'll go wide. Start making a right and turn. Yeah, this is it. Take it easy, I don't want to do too much damage. I've already got more damage than I would like, to be honest. I haven't actually driven the vehicle back this way before. 12 damage on a rock. Looks like the trailer's going to stay there. As long as it stays upright, it'll be fine. If it starts twisting around, it could be a problem. But at the moment, it's doing okay. I think we need to hang the left here, if I remember. And this should take us down to a bit of... So which is the... Um there's the lights. Bit of nighttime sea diving with a trailer. <laughs> this should be fun. I hope it behaves itself. I wonder if that winch cable has a snap point on it. Oh god. That didn't sound good at all. I have no idea what is going to happen. That took some damage as it went down there, did you see it? Dangerous water level. No, it's not. Not for this thing. This thing can swim. This thing's like a shark. Right, we're just going to get over there, through that straight ahead, up that ramp. Come on, lad. Keep going. Just keep momentum. Keep going. We've got the trailer. Somehow it's managing to stay. <laughs> On the back. Can we power our way out of here? I really hope so. I really, really hope so. My god, this vehicle's good. Awesome. Awesome. And... Surprisingly enough, the trailer's still intact. So let's stop the engine. And let's jump over here. If we can... No, that's not what I want to do. Uh, what to do is that. I'm going to go to him. Now, what did we do with the fuel? He's got f 500 litres of fuel. Uh, system trailer, 2,000 litres... So he's full up on fuel, I believe. just want to double check this. I don't want to make a mistake on this one. I need a sharper turning circle. Come on, turn, turn. There we go. Keep going, keep going around, keep going around. Now, I need to turn it without jackknifing too much. Admittedly, I am using a bit of artistic license there. But hey, if it works... And the articulation point can somehow take all of that strain. Don't know how, but there we go. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to strengthen that up. Fueled. 2,000 litres of fuel. Current none. Oh, I see. Current 4,000, right. So we're now carrying 4,000 litres of fuel. Wow, this is going to be interesting. What I don't know is how much those logs weighed, because 4,000 litres of fuel is 4,000 kilograms. But what I don't know is what weight is those logs were. So is this heavier? Or roughly the same? Don't know. I 
do know is I can get this bad boy over to the logs. Take the diff off and just tap it around here, let it roll its way around. No power at all. Let the weight push round. Cool. I think I need a bit of diff lock through here. There she is. Look at that, these look so weird with the trailer on the back with the, the wheels stuck up. <laughs> it's like some kind of new vehicle. It's like, do you ever have one of those toys as a kid that could it had wheels like that and it could roll up the wall? Looks a bit like that. Right. Yeah, when it hits it, if you don't know what I mean, you had a, you had a truck or a car when it hit the wall, because the wheels were so big, it would turn itself over and come back the other way. Um, how do we do this? Do you have to do it from the other vehicle? I can't remember. I thought we did it from here. Repair points. Hmm. I thought we did it from this vehicle. I thought we just told it to repair the other one. fuel up. There we go. Awesome. Wicked. Uh, now this is probably not the most ideal position to leave it if this is our refuel vehicle so I'm just going to move it out the way I think. What I don't want to be doing is coming down that hill and smashing into my refuel truck. So I think I'm just going to park it out the way a little bit. Something like that should do. It's not too much in the way, is it? And jump back into this one. Is it that one? No, that one. Start engine. Which is now fully fueled up, but needs a repair. But we can get a repair by taking it back to the lumber yard. Oh! Interesting. Because I changed vehicle, it lost the winch points. Ha 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 ha! There's an interesting game facet right there. Let's pull that in. There we go. Are you going to stay on? Hopefully. Oh, 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 that's bad, that's bad. Why are you taking damage all of a sudden? I presume that's contributing some of the damage of my vehicle as well. I think it is. I might have to start towing that thing. Yeah, it is. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all. It looked like a very clever thing to do, but... In hindsight... Um, let me get over this hill and change that around. Yeah, that's just eternal damage. That's bad. That missed. <laughs> that missed totally. Do you know what? Watching me do this reminds me of um, watching somebody play... What's that game? Surgeon Simulator. You know, sort of mashing the hand around. Because the controls are kind of weird. Like, on the left thumbstick, if I pull it down, it goes up. And if I push it down, it push it up, it goes down. So that's kind of unintuitive to me. Down should be down, up should be up. It's not a flight sim. On the right stick, when you pull it back, it does come back. You push it forward, it goes forward. So that one's the right way around. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like some things are reversed and some things aren't. Right, I'm thinking that the easiest way of doing this right now is to pull it back towards me. So, then detach it. I'm half tempted to just run this thing over. So sometimes what you need in life is a bit of brute force, quite frankly. And all else 
fails. Just give it a kick. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. My trailer is completely operational. Actually, can I just go back to the garage and get a new one? Do I even need to do this? That is getting worse. That is unbelievable. How could I possibly have made that worse? Right. Tip over, you stupid thing. <laughs> it's unbelievable. This thing does not want to tip over. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm just going to leave it. I can't push it right, it's too heavy. You know what? Sod it, it can stay there. I gotta go and get another one, hopefully. If I get back to the garage, where is it? Get back to the garage and hope to get, hopefully get a brand new one. To hell with that one. Otherwise, I'll have to come back and, and reattach it somehow. But right now, I need to get repaired. That's the weirdest thing. I can't believe how hard that was. There's only like one winch point on it. If I could attach different winch points. Actually, let's try and get this cloak while we're at it. That thing's bugging me. If I could attach a winch point, you know what I mean? If that was real life, you just attach a winch point at the top and, and pull it and rewrite it. Is it down there? I think it is, you know. I think it is. But it wouldn't let me. It'd only say, right, there's only one winch point on this thing. And that's not going to help you. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. If I follow this round, I reckon I'll get to it. As daylight breaks. And the fog hopefully starts to lift. God, it's misty. It's insanely misty. Yeah, it's just this way. There it is. Fantastic. This'll help. I think we need to go down the beach here. And reverse our way back into it. Cool. Oh, look at the sun. Oh, my God. Uh, can I just follow this thing around, do you reckon? I really want to, just because that sun is amazing. Do you reckon I can go through there, or will I just drown? So if I stick to the coast, I should be all right. Just power my way back up here. Excellent. Ah, oh, the birds are out. So if you notice, at night you get owls and wolves and stuff, and in the day you get the birds tweeting. Nice little touch. Um, want to go left, this is the main road, isn't it? What I don't want to do is fall down there. Awesome. drive. And then I want to make a left down here. See this thing, a Land Rover UAZ thing over here would really struggle. Particularly if you've got the repair kit on top, which gives you another 200 repair points, but it gives you a lot of top heaviness, which is very, very undesirable. Okay, I think it's left here. Go left and follow it round, or I could go straight on and then take a left over there. I can't remember which is the easiest way, if I'm honest. Go left. Difficult to remember in which was the easiest route. I think it was this way. It's 
20 litres per minute when it's pulling uphill. 20 litres. Think about that. Like if you've got those small bottles of Diet Coke, that's three of those roughly in a litre. Yeah, 60 small bottles of Diet Coke every minute in fuel. <laughs> that's what this thing's drinking. Thirsty, huh? I think it's up there. Up there and left, I think. God, it's like I should have left a breadcrumb trail like Hansel and Gretel. Oh, I remember climbing up here. I've been here before. it been all this far all the way back to the logging yard for some reason I thought it was closer right if I go straight on now don't think it came in this way but I'm gonna go this back this way because it looks fun looks like there's a small trail here that I could fit my massive vehicle down by cutting a few trees Okay, so I just went round there anyway. Aha! Aha ha ha! Yes. I remember now. <laughs> I do need my trailer. Actually, I could just take medium logs, couldn't I? Well, I haven't got my trailer with me. I can only reattach to the garage, and the garage is miles away. It's a repair as well. Damn! Oh, do you know what? No! Oh, that's locked. I just realised there's a garage there, which I didn't see until that thing uncloaked. <gasps> sneaky, sneaky! Because now that's unlocked. Oh, it's not locked, but if I got some delivery points there, you have to say... Hmm, that's got me thinking. Because then I could get... If I can get all that unlocked, I could then... Get this thing and get another trailer there and get it repaired as well. Which is very important because this thing is getting fairly battered. But for now... I think maybe... Let's just see what logs we can carry. Okay, brilliant camera. There we go. Right. Can't take medium, I don't think. Need to install carriage. No, I can't take anything. I thought I could at least take short logs. Damn! That means I've got to go back and, and get my trailer. Horrendous. No. Right. So, as uh, Jeremy Clarkson would say, on that bombshell... I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, in the next video, what I'll do is I'll basically... I'll get my truck and go, go back over here and pick up my trailer, which was about there somewhere. Uh, here on that slope, wasn't it? Just, just about there. Medium log trailer. Uh, go back and get my trailer. And what I might do in the next video is see what vehicles I've actually got back over here. What have I got here? Utility attachments. What else can I take? I can't take anything. Carries 400 repair points. So that's all I can carry on that, on that score. Apparently I can't put any other trailers on the back. Which is slightly annoying. All that will do is either repair. Which I could use. I could bring this over as a mobile repair point. Um... So I could bring him back to there and just have a little congregation here. So we've got refueling and repair capabilities. But what I'd like to do is, is deliver some points back over there. But to do that, I need the box trailer. Really, my garage is in the wrong place. Actually, what I might have to do is just teleport my truck back. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll figure it out for the next video. I think. Decide what I'm doing next time. 
But for now, I'm going to have to leave it there because I think we've run out of time. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're enjoying spin tires. And until the next video, guys, take care and happy trucking.